All right, so here we are in front of the wood stove. I got the house heated up this morning. I figure let's try this out. Um, it's going to be a little tight quarters in here around the wood stove. So we're going to try to get you the best camera shots we can. So right now the stove's running at about 500 degrees. I've got some coals in there right now. You can see in there. Now this stove is brick lined, otherwise I wouldn't even be trying this because I know coal burns really hot compared to wood around the coals. It's funny because at the flue temperatures from everything I've been reading, they uh, they say it's a lot colder on the flue, but the heat stays down low in the stove. Now I will uh, I will tell you I got a I got an assistant here behind me yapping. But I will tell you, I did try it the night I built it quick, um, and you know what, it did really well. I didn't know what the hell I was doing, so I didn't put enough coal in it. But uh, I did have to make a couple adjustments to the grate. I had to lower the legs because otherwise my coal bed would have been up here. And I only would have been able to put like an inch of coal on it, and it's just too warm. So what I'm going to try to do, I have a bed of coals in here right now. And this is what I'm going to try to start. I'm going to throw this grate out. Marilyn. The little one's touching the camera. What's that, honey? What are you doing? Don't, don't touch the camera. Don't touch the camera. Goofball. So anyway, there's still even some coal from uh, the night before. Marilyn. Hey, buddy. Why? Can you play rodeo clown for me, please? Because this one is uh, thinks the camera is just awesome, and she keeps hitting it. Yes, you do. Watch it. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. No, that's hot. Okay. Let's see. Uh, let's fit this in, and I'm gonna pretend like I've never done this before, but I know it fits. Oh. As you can see, it is just the width of the door. You can see right here, I had to trim that down. I had to trim... Hi, Marilyn. Yeah, I had to trim this down to be able to latch the door. No. Back up there, little one. So... You want to jump on me? Stay away from that camera. Alright, fits right in there nice. Now the way I have it set in here, it actually comes out just about to the glass. If you could see that in there. But what we're going to do now, I said I'm new to this so you guys will have to bear with me. I'm going to spread my coals out underneath. I've got some of the barn wood here, which is nice and dry pine. We're just going to throw it in there. Is everything I've been reading, the best way to do it is just uh, build a wood fire and then shovel some coal on top of it. Like I said, this could be a total flop, folks, but I've got to try it out. Alright, the little one's just not cooperating, but we're going to keep going anyway. You can't play with that. It's not for you. Yeah. Alright. And close her up, see if it takes off. No. And I'll start the camera up again when it's going. Total novice here, but we're going to try to shovel a little bit in here. Um, I've got good air gaps on the sides, so I think what I'm going to want to do is I get this going. 
I want to fill those air gaps up. Uh, stove's running about 600 right now. Like I said, I have no idea what the hell I'm doing with this. We're just, uh, like we always do here, we're going to throw some shit at the walls and see what sticks. Kind of a neat sound. I'll start with that and see what happens. We'll check back in a little bit. Now I'll give you some shaky hands footage, but this is after the first hour. Now I'm screwing around with this thing a lot trying to figure it out. Um, I feel I should have a better fire by now, but you can't really see it on the camera too well, but in the middle there where it's mostly cold, we do have some good blue flames going. Now I had some rope gasket, which I always have a bunch of it on hand from doing boiler work. And what I did was, uh, air was coming up around that piece of angle iron coming up through the door so it wasn't getting under the coal bed. So I kind of wrapped that up and kind of stuffed it in there and so far it seems to be doing pretty well. So we're going to check back in in a little while, see what develops. Uh, stove's running just over 500 right now. I do have a couple pieces of pine right there. Because like I said, I'm trying to figure this out and jump the gun a little bit, started putting coal in it a little too fast, but we'll figure it out. We do have some blue flame, which is good, and uh, we're going to keep packing it in there and see what happens. Now, I'm not going to go any higher than what the brick is in the stove. It's uh, just because I really don't feel like cracking this wood stove. This thing's 30 years old, and I usually run it 800-900 degrees all winter long just to keep the house up. When you live in the middle of a hay field, you know, that's... To be expected with the wind that we get up here, it just cools the house down real bad and it's another real windy day today, but we're just going to see what we can get out of this thing, so we'll check back in in a little bit. Alright, let's give you guys some shaky camera stuff. So, this has been burning now for well, probably 10 hours and I have not added coal into it probably about 4 hours. Open the door, and that's what we have. Now, what I've noticed running it is if I, oh, say it's not, I want to get it going better, I'll throw like a piece, two, probably like two pieces of pine kindling in there. They're only like two by two pieces, and I've noticed that little bit of extra flame really gets my draft going. So what I'll do is I'll put it like all the way to one side or the other, and when I check it, it's just sucking the air up through the middle of it really well. So this is, uh, I mean, we're going on a 10-hour burn right here, and the pile really hasn't gone down. And, you know, I fiddled with it quite a bit to get it going. That was the hard part, but uh, the stove is maintaining right around 500 degrees steady. It's 73 in the house right now, and uh, it's in the teens outside with a good stiff wind out of the west. So I'd say it's doing all right. So, this was our grand experiment, and I, uh, I pretty much did this because I'm really contemplating switching to a coal stove, and I tell you, from what I'm seeing of this right here, I really like it, and just the, uh, just the steady, constant output for hours, that's pretty neat. So, come morning, you know, I'll... Sure, I'll have to uh, shake that grate down. I'm just going to use the poker and you know, just use the uh, the fire poker and scrape it around, whatnot. Get the ash out of the bottom. Put another layer of coal on it. Throw another piece of a uh, couple pieces of pine on there, just to uh, get it going. Good. I noticed I did have to do that. I had to, even with the coals glowing when I put new coal on it, it was having a really hard time catching because it's. The draft, it's just not enough air coming in the bottom to really make it take off good without a little help. But with that little bit of help, this is what I've had. I haven't put 
Yeah, I haven't touched it in a few hours. It's just been sitting there idling along. And uh, I'm happy with that. The stove is brick lined. It's got bricks on the floor of it, the sides of it, even on the uh, ceiling of it. There's fire brick. So I'm not too worried about that. Let me turn a light on here and I will show you what I did to contend with the air that was coming up around the door. Alright, so there's the rope gasket. It's about 8 feet long that I wound around itself. It pulls in and out of there pretty easily. But what that's doing is that's forcing all the air, because you see that handle right there, that's the draft control on my stove here so the air does come up from the bottom already if this was a uh, air over air over the fire this would not work for me and you see the blue flames here and there kicking up out of the coal she's actually doing really well I cannot complain about this one one bit I mean that's that's better than I thought it would be so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this one. hope you enjoyed this really short series. Nice to actually see me finish something for you folks. So, anyway, we'll catch you on the next one. And uh, depending on the weather, that will depend on what we're doing on the next one. So, you folks have a good night.